Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. In one of the last videos I made a hydrogen generator, however this was more like a small prototype. In this video I will show you how I made a better version that can produce more gas. Last time I tried to separate the hydrogen and the oxygen, but because it's easier I didn't do it this time. Also this way I can bring the electrodes closer together to make the generator more efficient. To collect the gas we need a gas tight container. I used one for storing coffee. For the gas output I drilled a hole in the lid of the container and glued in a hose fitting. Next I drilled two more holes for plus and minus and I put some bolts through them. The bolts are sealed with rubber so no gas can escape there. Like in the last video I used graphite electrodes so I don't contaminate my water with any metals. I bought 12 carbon electrodes. However I had space for way more and that would have worked better, but they are not super cheap so yeah. The electrodes need to be fastened somehow, I decided to use a piece of plastic to hold them in place. I drilled 12 holes through the plastic to hold the electrodes. I used a multi-tool so it looks a bit bad. You can see how much space I still have for more electrodes. Before I fastened the electrodes I need to make electrical connections to them. For that I drilled a hole in them and screwed in a small bolt. Then I fastened the electrodes in the plastic with some rubber bands. The rubber bands are also there to prevent them from touching each other and creating a short circuit. At the end they kind of dissolved though, so I would suggest to use cable ties or something like that instead. Anyway, with the electrodes in place I had a pack with 12 electrodes. I wired them up so each row of 4 electrodes has another polarity next to them. So that plus and minus is always closest to each other. I then put everything in the container and connected the electrodes to the screws in the lid. Obviously for a long term solution the cables need to be soldered together and protected from the humid environment and not left in there like this. I mixed some sodium carbonate with some water to make it more conductive and then filled the generator with it. It's important to not use table salt, otherwise the generator will also produce chlorine gas. I then closed everything and connected a balloon to the gas outlet. This is the first test with little current and you can already see that the balloon is filling up. The gas production is already pretty nice, but the power supply wasn't powerful enough. So I connected it to a 12 volt supply and it immediately pulled 32 amps and produced a lot of gas. However that's a lot of power and the whole thing is made of plastic so I replaced some of the water to make it less conductive so it's not heating up that fast. It then only used 9 amps, unfortunately it got warmer until I had to put the generator in a bucket of water. I don't know how to get around that problem, the reaction will always produce a lot of heat. Anyway, after some time the balloon was quite full and I took it off to light it on fire, however an accident happened and the balloon popped. So I had to fill another balloon which took 23 minutes. So not super fast but not super slow either. You can see the hydrogen nicely burned. I expected a sharper bang but maybe that's because there's still air in the generator. To measure how much the generator actually produces I turned a test tube upside down in a glass of water and let the gas bubble in. This took 25 seconds 
and I calculated with the volume of the test tube that the generator is producing 90 milliliters of gas per minute. So there's definitely some improvement possible, but I leave it at that for now. I hope I inspired you to build your own hydrogen generator and maybe you want to leave ideas and suggestions in the comments. Until next time, bye!